Hi guys and welcome to my channel. On this video um, I'm going to show you how to remove the RSX, the hit shield from the PlayStation 3. Um, the thing is on this model here we got the problem that uh, when you turn on the console after 2-3 minutes the fan gets uh, very loud and very fast and mostly the problem is here inside. Yeah. Yeah, we can say it's a bit hard to get this thing out here, um, but uh, like you can see, um, you can imagine it's like it was like that. And then you take uh, a cutter here, like this, yeah. And uh, normally the cutters here are a bit longer. We can say here, so you can break them. You see, it was about this length, and you can break it here, and you make it a bit shorter. And um, then you just remember this side here, we can say, you put your cutter here inside, yeah, you see, go easy, and focus this, so, and then you go here with two or three fingers, yeah, at last I have need three fingers for, and you go here and move left, right, left, right, right, left, right, and you press down, yeah, you, you need a bit power, you go here, and you press it left, right, left, right, left, right, you go on till this knife goes inside and then you hear click and as you hear the click you can take him out or it will come with the knife inside you see um, the other thing is um, you can see here also at the hit shield uh, it was yeah, we can say a lot, uh, I don't know if it's, if it's silicone or what it is, I don't know, but it's uh, very hard, like cement, and it's hard to get out here, and uh, the thermal compound here, the thermal grease, was very hard and very old also, and um, yeah, this here I have already cleaned, like you can see, yeah, I have also take the cutter here, and uh, I've cleaned it, as, yeah, so good as I called. Yeah, you go here and clean that off, very good. Um, the problem is that a lot of guys try this at uh, them way, and the problem is that they forget to clean this really great. Uh, when you don't clean this perfect, the problem is when you add here the thermal pass, and you put this back, the problem is then that it's not 100% at the chip, you see? Because it has here, yeah, a bit dirt still. And you got to clean this first, really. Yeah. You go here with your cutter, and um, yeah, let me try to make this with one hand. And yeah, let me see. And you go here around, and you can you see it goes up. Yeah. And yeah, it's very very hot stuff here. Like you can see, it's like I don't know, some kind of glue or whatever. I don't know. Whatever, you need to clean this really perfect before you add the thermal compound and the heat shield, okay? So take care when you put the heat shield that this is really clean, otherwise you will get problems because it will, because it will not be 100% uh, at the chip and it will, it will not have 100% contact to the chip. So that's why take care that you clean it. So guys, it should look like this now, and um, yeah, I can't get better out, like you can see, but um, it's very clean now, we can say. It looks not like it is, but it's really very clean, I can't get more out, this is the maximum here, and um, yeah, we also can read now that this are uh, Samsung. RAM chips and um, yeah, you can clean it great here everywhere and take care that you don't destroy this uh, SMDs here or transistors or however they call in English and um, yeah, like you can see it's it's already perfect and um, I will 
and try to get this feather but this is yeah this is fully enough you don't need to clean it more um, you just take care that you get the most shit of this yeah glue or whatever it is just be sure that you get the most of this out and uh, then you can begin to add again thermal compound everywhere you put here a bit here 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 and also on the chip yeah and the point it is also that you really take care at this um, SMDs here at this part yeah this is really very very small like you just need to take care then okay all right guys and yeah uh, the CPU is also the same thing like this here but the CPU is inside here uh, we can say all all around you have the same clue here all around you can also go here inside yeah and then you you make the same okay so guys um, this is what I need and what I use to open the CPU feature is my sandpaper so I can always make it better and here just take a thing like this so you can uh, so I will try to do this now with one hand and then you can pull it everywhere a bit inside and go out again and next you see and then you can see here it comes out here I hope you can see that if you focus on this place so you now you can see it's already coming out this is something like hard glue or maybe silicone and yeah you can see when I press inside here it stays in you see and you got to do this all over you see all over around and at last you will be able to take this out then okay so you go on here with two fingers here the other one and you push it always inside go a bit down push it again go a bit down push it again you go all sides, you will do this now and then you get this here easily up, okay? Just need a bit of patience and it's finished soon. So guys, now I'm already finished and uh, when you have done this um, with the other thing and get the silicone out, then you can take again the knife or this uh, thing here, I don't know, name in English, and um, then you take a little bit wood, yeah? you can break the knife at the length uh, like you like, put the knife inside here and you take care at these pieces here, yeah? always take care of the parts and then you can take the knife and uh, you get the, the wood here so, yeah. you put the wood inside here and then you can with a hammer you can I have now here a little bit wood and then you can push it over here and this will come in yeah, I hope you can see that great and here a little bit like we can see we are already very good in and you do this everywhere around yeah
streaming and you can see we have done a great work it's very nice done here and I will clean this all now and like you can see here in the middle it's yeah not that great okay I must go on the phone <laughs> maybe the next PlayStation is waiting so guys and when you take when you have talked this part out then you can go on here and you can clean uh, the rest of the silicone here and yeah, this is the most fucked up thing here, the CPU is the hardest to get in, but if you got patience like I have, then it's all no problem. This here, you see it's yeah, fucked up, it's really hard here, look, yeah, this is very hard, this thermal compound, and this is the most reason why the fan turns loud or when your PlayStation gets red lightings at the beginning. So that's why you got to do this here, of course, yeah? So guys, and here in the middle, we really can see that uh, the compound here is really missing. I hope this is great focus now. And let me see this. Yeah, at last I have already cleaned it all. And uh, it looks very good. It's all... Yeah, great, I think. Should be all in, in safe place nothing broken and that's how you should do this at this way if you like maybe you have another method that this way is solely one of the safest methods how you can open it and here you can see also um, we, ha we have here about uh, let me see four millimeters yeah four millimeters silicone here and here at this side like I told where the two chips here are you have here, um, you have here a small end tire. You can also begin here to work from here to left or to right. Or yeah, it's up to you, like you want. But here again, like you can see, you see very good that yeah, here is really in the middle is the thermal compound missing, and that's why yeah, it gets really you can say hot. Okay, so if you have problems with your PlayStation, when it gets too fast hot and when it, the fan turns in the first 3-4 minutes too fast, so you know now what you have to do. <laughs> but it's yeah, hard work, but at last it's better than to throw it out the window. <laughs> we have tuned this here again with the holes inside, like you can see, very great work. In the most videos, the guy shows how to open it, yeah. But uh, yeah, the most doesn't show how to put it back again, and this is what I will do now, okay? So guys, this is the MX4, like you can see. It's a very good uh, thermal compound, yeah. And uh, if you can get the Arctic Silver 5, then you can use the Arctic Silver 5 to put here inside, yeah. I recommend to take Arctic Silver 5 because this thermal compound is a bit harder. And then you can put this over there, and this will not move that much. This, this will not, yeah, like swim. You, know, you see that when you take a, a bad thermal compound, this can swim, and it will be very hard to get it back. But I will show you how it's possible. And like I told, if you got this one, it's very okay. You don't need nothing better. But if you can get the Arctic Silver 5, then you put the Arctic Silver 5 first here, and then you take the MX4, and you can add the MX4 at the side open uh, at the up here you see for this over here you can use the MX4 for inside you please use the Arctic Silver 5 okay guys so guys here like you can see you put back your hit uh, then you put back the fan like you can see we have tuned this and then you put back this one here like you can see yeah. so now here 
the problem is, uh, when you don't have the Arctic Silver 5, then you must now first put here the thermal compounds here and then you press this down here, okay? At this one here, at the GPU, at the graphics chip, you can put here everywhere the thermal compound and you can close it here, oh, it's no problem. Here, at this one here, it's no problem. But this one here, it's, it's not that much space, so that means that the thermal compound uh, has not so much grip, you know, and then it will maybe swim down. That's why I say, at this one here, it's no problem, but because we have here a lot of thermal compound and this will be a little bit like blue and this will stay, I know that. But here, this one, you need to fix it first here, and just then you put the thermal compound and I will show you this now. And now we will put here the thermal compound. Yeah, then we will make a bit, uh, yeah, like I always do in my videos. And then you can put the P size here. And that's why I always say again, don't just pull, uh, put the P size. But yeah, you can do it now. Because now you can do a P, just a P, uh, like the most guys think it must be the P method, but it's not must be. But now we can do because this is not uh, uh, hard together like it was before. Because this now you can take all days and every time we can take this off again. So that's why I say now you can put the P size and then we press this down with a lot of power. You press this down and then you let it stay. So this is the P method like I told. So that means that nothing is around just the the P like a pearl five millimeter we can say five six millimeter pearl and then you press this down at this situation here now we can do that it's no problem because it doesn't matter next time when you want to open it this will stay here that's why now you can do this P method it's no problem okay so let me check this all right then you look that it's got in the middle so and then you let it just fall. I will try to make this so perfect like I like I can. And now you can see we are already in. And then you try to press it down. So on the rest the screws will do this. This is no problem. Let the rest the screws make the, the rest work. So Now it, you can say it's very good. And you can see here we have a little space that means that it's a lot uh, thermal compound uh, on there. Okay? And this one, like I told, you can do at the first place here. You can do here first. You don't need to make this here. So, and then I will add here the thermal compound. And here I will make this again at my method and not the P size here. Because when you got to take this out one day again, it's better that you make like I do, but if you want to do like you want, it's no problem, it's, yeah, up to you guys. So guys, you can do it, like here, yeah, and uh, have done again at my method here, so that you can get better open next time, and it will be perfect like the P method. You can say when you make this like I have done, and then you put the P size, yeah, over it, then it's like the P method, you can say, okay? And these parts here normally are not cooled because they are, uh, yeah, something like glue, you know. And so that's why I have put also here over it, I have put a uh, thermal compound. So this will be also, again, better. At this side here I have done, you can say, like a line, yeah, not a P-method, because this will get over here and over there. So I have made a line, when you press down this goes a bit everywhere and it's just perfect, okay guys? You don't need to make it that beautiful, but it must be, yeah, clean work. Yeah, now you can put this over there, press it down, and then now uh, after that you put the thermal compound also, okay guys? So I will pause and make again. So guys, I've done this now, like you can see it's very great, and uh, here, you see it holds very good. As we on the side, yeah. Like you can see, it's, it's wonderful, it's not moving and uh, when you press this down, take care that you take your left hand under there and then you press it. Don't put the platin here and press down because it's not good the platin makes this, uh, I don't know, yeah, it's not good when the platin goes down. 
So take your hand under there and then you press it slowly a bit and yeah then you, you can still move it like you want you see don't press too much so okay guys now I will add here thermal compound again and then we will close this so guys now you can see this is already finished now and here we have like I made again the thing and uh, here again it's like a P but it's more like a line because this chip is uh, the other side and like I told you, you can do this like you want here again the other work for the CPU part yeah you can see I have already done like I told and then now we will put together so. I have a great assistant here Ismail is helping me <laughs> and yeah so now we will put this together and take care here that this is all okay here okay guys look that it's all perfect and yeah that's the most important so let's go and up and then let it go down slowly so okay it's just perfect now press a bit down okay here, here and here, you got to press it down a bit, so and then you put the part over there, it will come down, so here, okay, looks great, okay guys and now put all here like you can see and the most important now is that you uh, really go easy with the screws because you must go parallel you must always do the same side yeah and uh, if you do, just do the right side too much then the chip will go away here that's why I say do all at the same time yeah when you note when you see that this is uh, getting together then you must work parallel okay that's really really important so now you can see it's, it's here, it's, you see it's not that good and here it's already okay. And now here we make the same at the other side. Yeah, it's holding, you see? Now you go here, one, two, and here again, one, two, and be fast. So guys, uh, it's finished, we can say. The console now is working about 10 minutes and uh, the fan is still turning very low. I hope you can hear this. Wait. working very low it's still now about 10 minutes or more and the fan is just perfect so if you've got the problem that your fan turns very fast in the first two three minutes then now you know what is the problem I have done this with red uh, wood here this piece of wood so the the air yeah the air can guide inside better and so this uh, can cool now again very great and if you got a new one yeah a new PlayStation or the slim one if you got the slim one I would recommend you to do this at the beginning make the holes or make here some holes at the slim that you can be sure that you are at the safe side and that the console gets always fresh air and enough air because this is the problem because um, when it's get no no enough air to cool down the the chips then you get these problems so that's why I say always do this when you got one maybe you buy one use it or whatever then make this tuning what I have done and yeah you see it's working perfect um, let me see if I, can, if I can get this up so you can see it's still the same console yeah wait now you can see here it's just wonderful you see it's perfect so guys the PlayStation now is uh, completely built together again and like you can see it works all perfect so so we have made the test and uh, yeah you see here the lights again my mobile and now you can see thank you again to my assistant Ismail 
big thanks to Ismail, helped me very good. No problem, he is not understanding so much English, but it's a great guy. And like you can see, it works all here and very quiet. So, I hope you guys like this video. And uh, yeah, subscribe my channel if you like and uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Okay guys, wish you the best and peace out. Bye bye.